The U.S. Navy is moving to expand its multi-domain operational capacity by experimenting with new methods of deploying ship launch drones from both land and sea. The intent is clearly interoperability, something heavily emphasized by the Defense Department as the military services fast-track various efforts to ensure Navy ships, Air Force fighter jets, and Army ground forces can exchange time-sensitive targeting data and surveillance information across different formats, domains, transport layers, and communication systems. As part of this comprehensive expansion into more multi-domain activity, something which has included the use of multi-domain task forces in key hotspots around the world, such as the Pacific, the individual services have been working to expand the operational envelope of their weapons platforms and technologies. For example, the Navy recently achieved a breakthrough milestone with its ship-launched MQ-8C Fire Scout drone by transitioning from ship to shore in a maritime environment. This milestone, which introduces new multi-domain tactical advantages for amphibious warfare, is described by the Navy as the Fire Scout supporting expeditionary advanced space operations. During what the Navy identified as Resolute Hunter, a combat preparation exercise off the coast of California, the Fire Scout launched from a ground location in Point Nugu and used a portable mission control station. A multi-domain operational focus for the Navy's Fire Scout makes sense for a lot of reasons, in large measure because the sea variant continues to receive new upgrades, including coastal countermeat technologies, advanced maritime and land sensors, new radar, artificial intelligence-enabled computer processing at the point of collection, and newer kinds of networking applications for multi-domain missions. For instance, a multi-domain-enabled fire scout could provide forward targeting for mines and enemy positions in support of an amphibious assault, and then extend support into land areas as forces advance. Beyond this, a fire scout could operate in island areas or coastal regions, bringing a forward unmanned opportunity to surveil high-risk areas while manned vessels stayed at a safer standoff distance in support of target identification or island hopping kinds of operations. Given this, a multi-domain capable fire scout, enabled by a mobile mission command center, would be well suited for operations in the Pacific, an area which includes many islands and coastal areas.